reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus, whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, What are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be, be, be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promises made to you and your children, all those, uh, and all those far off, whenever, whoever, whoever, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments, was exhorting them, save yourself from this corrupt generation. Those who accept his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. <coughs> Verbum Domini. Alleluia. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. See the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in time in spite of famine. <clears throat> our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May the kindness, O Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Dominus Rubiscum, Lexio Sancte Evangelii, Segundum Johannum. <coughs> Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Christ had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? He said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. <coughs> Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you've carried him away, tell, him where you, tell me where you've laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in, in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them I'm going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary went and told the disciples, I have seen the Lord, then reported what he had told her. <coughs> Verbum Domini. Well, my brothers and sisters in Christ, in the octave of Easter, we have St. Stanislaus. And it was a reminder for me this morning, my spiritual director of 40 plus years, who passed away a few years ago, Father Stanley Kostrazo, uh, that I, I don't pray significantly or sufficiently enough uh, for him and all the souls in purgatory. So just a reminder as we celebrate this this uh, Easter octave to always be mindful of all the souls in purgatory, especially those that have no one to pray for them. They are truly listed amongst the least of Christ's brethren. Uh, and that we are to make friends of the souls in purgatory and help as many as we can get through purgatory so we have friends in heaven. Now, my brothers and sisters in Christ, <clears throat> we have uh, this situation, all right, where uh, Peter is telling the Jews, and, and he really convicts them, right? 3,000 were, were baptized. And he tells them that uh, you, you crucified you crucified the man that God made both Lord and Christ. You crucified him. And they were convicted by this. Being confronted with the truth convinces many, many, many people. 
everybody? No, because many people have hardened hearts, right? Hardened hearts and, and dark minds. And so they are not immediately. But we need to plant that seed. We need to plant the seed of truth, the light of truth into people <clears throat> and kind of let it fester around in there, right? Uh, but he says, repent and be baptized, every one of you. So first repent, then be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you'll receive the Holy Spirit. So repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus and you will have forgiveness of your sins and you'll receive the Holy Spirit. Right? And so, my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is important. We are baptized in the name of Jesus. But we're actually baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I might have told you the story. <clears throat> it was just mere days before I was ordained to the priesthood. And I, I met a man who rejected his baptism in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And was rebaptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And when I confronted him about that, right, his face got all gnarly and everything. It was satanic. It was just absolutely amazing. And he started uh, spewing all kinds of profanities. It was quite the, um, the, the scene, uh, an incident. And it was the same night, that day, my spiritual director said that the Satan, Satan, the evil one, would attack me. Uh, and so I thought that was very interesting. Uh, and, and, and again, it was right around this time of the year because <clears throat> uh, I don't know what day Pentecost falls on this year, but I was um, ordained the Saturday before Pentecost and celebrated my first Mass on Pentecost, which was May 14th that year. I was ordained May 15th. I celebrated my first Mass. And so it would have been right around this time, uh, 18 years ago, that I encountered that. But I want to draw attention to Mary not recognizing Jesus until Jesus names her. And then she recognizes Jesus, right? Jesus. And I think it's important, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that that Jesus has named us, and we should name Jesus. Too often I hear people say, well, God is good to me. I thank God for everything. And I ask them, who is God for you? Oh, he's my creator. He's my savior. I didn't ask what God is for you. Who is God for you? Jesus is God. The Holy Spirit is God. Our Father in Heaven is God. Our God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus is God. Our Savior is God. Our Creator is God. And we should acknowledge God in that way. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's why I think the sign of the cross is so important. I think that's why these incidences in Scripture, the transfiguration, the baptism of Jesus, right, where we have the Trinity manifest is so important, fathers, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus is God. And we need to invoke the name of Jesus. Invoke his name. Jesus, have mercy on me. Jesus, I know you love me. I love you, Jesus. Invoke the name of Jesus. Jesus, what more would you have me do today? Jesus, send your Holy Spirit to me today. Jesus, reveal your Father to me today. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend. Let us invoke the name of Jesus. We are baptized in Jesus. We have come to our faith through the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us name him. Let us invoke him in all things. Again, whether we want to go up to the Father, whether we want to receive the Holy Spirit, Jesus, reveal your Father to us. Jesus, send your Holy Spirit to us. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. 
Jesus, I trust in you. All right, so let us be mindful of the souls in purgatory and also, again, the four red rose rescuers that are uh, the four red ro rose the four red rose rescuers that are uh, uh, imprisoned. Let us pray for them uh, and uh, my brothers and sisters in Christ, always for the souls in purgatory. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. <coughs> Jesus, I trust in you.